Well, I'm one of the principals of the, what we're calling the Social and Cultural Working Group on Cyber Responsibility. I think it's important because most cyber research, most uh, cyber security research has been done uh, from a computer science perspective, looking at the technology of security. Uh, how do we build systems that are more secure? And they often overlook uh, the social and cultural dimensions of how users approach the technology. So if you build a system that's technically secure, but which people can't use, for example, or which people don't use in the way that computer scientists or the security people think they will use them, then they're not effective. Social cultural attitudes towards cybersecurity are important in themselves. For example, uh, if you trust the technology, you will use it. And we want people to trust uh, the internet in a, uh, in a way that they, have, uh, they will use it because they know that they can get services, they can uh, get government in information about government, they can shop and so forth. That's vital so that they have to have a learned level of trust. That means they cannot have a, a culture of fear where they, they feel that the internet is dangerous and they can't really do anything online. And they certainly uh, shouldn't be complacent about their security. So how do we develop that learned level of trust? Well, there's not a definitive answer to who should be responsible for keeping the internet safe. Uh, we actually ask that as a question in surveys that we do. We ask people uh, who should be responsible for protecting, for example, children and uh, uh, the content that children are able to, to see online. Some people believe government should have more of a responsibility. Some people, the internet service providers, others, the, the parents, uh, the children should have education themselves. So uh, there are varieties of, uh, of people who could take responsibility. A lot of people uh, increasingly think everybody should be responsible. So there's this uh, shared responsibility that, uh, for example, in child safety, that almost everyone should be. But um, I think that's a really, really important question that's likely to vary cross-culturally. Global differences in attitudes, beliefs, uh, values are about the internet and cybersecurity. Uh, are perhaps one of the most important factors we have to look at in this research. The center of gravity of the internet is changing. What I call it, it's the new internet world. Now the question is, is as people from Asia and the global south become the dominant population online, if their values and attitudes are dramatically different from those in the North America and Western Europe, will we lose the culture that gave birth to the internet and freedom of expression, privacy, a wish for security online and so forth. And so we're studying this very closely. And um, my own view is that, that uh, there's a surprising degree of, of um, consensus globally, for example, in the desire for freedom of expression. And surprisingly, uh, some people in the, in the Asian countries and the global south are even more supportive of freedom of expression than people in uh, North America and Western Europe, who tend to be, uh, the old internet world, I think, might tend to be complacent about freedom of expression. I think probably that's uh, the, one of the most critical questions facing policymakers, because if, if they get it wrong, they could des destroy the vibrancy of the internet as we know it. Okay, if if we try to put all concern on cybersecurity, uh, we could make we could create a culture of fear and actually um, uh, lead a lot of people to uh, avoid the internet. When exactly, you know, not only freedom of expression and privacy, but economic vitality globally, education access to educational resources are absolutely dependent upon access to a worldwide web of information that is available online. So we don't want to create a culture of fear. We want to create a culture of awareness of, of real risk that people face. How can they cope with them? How do they protect themselves? Um, so either complacency or 
fear is, is, is going to be detrimental to the future of the Internet.